What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC. Checking out the Alpaca Arc Bifold wallet. I picked this up during the pre-order, although it's available for general sale now that those pre-orders have been fulfilled. You can get it in three different colors, the black, dark green, or slate gray. All three models will run you $49, although I am an Alpaca ambassador, so I have a coupon code, which is Jacob15OFF, which will save you 15% off your order. I'll put that as well as the link down in the description below if you do end up deciding to order it. You can just copy and paste it from there. But although I'm an ambassador, I did not get this sent for review. I picked this up in the pre-order just like everyone else because I was interested in checking it out. And I actually did a video on the original Alpaca Arc Wallet, which is still available as well, as well as a long-term review. So this is going to be that overview. This is just initial impression, showing the dimensions, showing what you can fit in there. Because I haven't had enough time to really formulate a strong opinion outside of those initial impressions. But I will get to that at some point in the future, probably about three months or so from now. But let's talk about the wallet itself. So material on the outside, all three models is going to be an X-Pack VX21. Really cool looking material, super flat, which is nice. And it's going to be weatherproof, UV proof. If you're learning, interested in learning more about... X-Pack in general, there's a few different versions that they use. Check out Rich over at True Budget EDC and Prepping. He did a long video explaining the differences, explaining what it is, and that it's not actually sailcloth, but inspired from sailcloth. And he's going to go into a lot more detail than I am in this overview, so definitely check him out if you're interested in learning about that. But dimension-wise, 3.19 inches wide by 4.29 inches tall. So that's a little bit bigger than the wallets I typically carry. I'm typically a pretty minimal front pocket wallet guy, but there's definitely a place for these larger bifold wallets. And one of the main reasons I picked it up, even though I have the Arc Wallet, one, I wanted to compare them, but two, it has a dedicated cash slot. And so not your traditional bifold cash holding mechanism where you hold it full length, you fold it up and put it in this slot. And so even though I don't carry a ton of cash, there are occasions where I need to. In fact, Blade Show is coming up in a couple of weeks. Plan on switching over to this wallet. At this, that point, I'm still reviewing another wallet for that long-term review, so going to wait a couple of weeks to start checking this one out, but we'll definitely get out a full review on this at some point. Now, besides the regular dimensions unloaded it's really really thin because of that x-pack material it's able to lay super flat only 0.3 inches unloaded is what i measured with my calipers and depending on how much you load out it's gonna vary how thick it gets but i was pretty impressed just kind of putting a sample load out that it doesn't get super thick even with a lot more than what i normally carry so i'm gonna start off going through all these pockets just kind of showing what the, each one is used for so this front one I already mentioned is meant for cash. So I have 12 bills here and those fit very easily. You wanna fold them in half so you don't have to try fold them, which is nice. And they'll fit very easily with plenty of room. So even if they're sticking out a little bit, it's not like your corners are gonna get all bent up. And there's still plenty of room for more. I'd be pretty comfortable putting 20 bills in here, maybe even a little bit more. And even with these 12 bills, there's plenty of space. So if you wanted to add a card in front of that, you definitely could although there are some dedicated card slots that you can use for that purpose. So plenty of room there, which I really like. And they have these back pockets, which could definitely accommodate some bills as well. What I like about it being half exposed like this is that you can really find the bill you're looking for and just pull out that one bill. So if you want to get one from the middle or from the outside, you can pull out one bill without pulling out all of your cash. And so like that about that, you can still put it back there if you want, but you're going to have to pull it out to kind of figure out what you want to get. So on the left hand side though, we have two card slots. So on the front, you're going to, oh, I'm going to put my ID and in the back, I'll probably put two to three cards, debit cards, mostly a uh, business card, personal debit card and a credit card. And so those fit in there with ease. There's plenty of space. This is rated for 12 to 14 cards. Although if you utilize these back spaces, I'd imagine you can probably get a little bit more in there. I'm never actually going to carry that many cards, so I don't necessarily care that you can fit more in there. But you definitely can if you're someone who carries six or seven cards you can put them in there with no problem and then you can also slide your store cards your receipts anything like that in the back here and tuck those away where you're not using them as much again same problem with the caches they're not as easily accessible so if you have a bunch of cards in there you're probably going to have to pull them out to kind of riffle through them 
but good place to put your receipts or even a little mini write in the rain notebook random notes paper that sort of thing and so you can see eight cards in here 12 bills plus that little alpaca information card still didn't get extremely thick it's still relatively thin which i really like and we can measure it out actually with that there we go so we about doubled in thickness at about 0.62 inches and again that's with way more cards than I actually plan on carrying obviously the cash is going to get a little bit thicker if you put more bills as well but pretty impressive love the high viz just kind of color contrast I don't know how much I'm going to need it I'm not usually paying for things in the dark that often but I still like just kind of that pop of color that it adds and I think there's a really clean looking wallet really well put together nice seams on it not too worried about the durability this material like i said weatherproof uv proof but also just kind of mess proof if you get this dirty get stuff all over it you can walk, wipe it off with a damp rag and it's going to look pretty much brand new in my experience from their pouches and other wallets so pretty cool wallet definitely excited to kind of get to that more long-term review if you're interested in checking it out again i'd appreciate it if you use the links but you don't have to it does help the channel out i get a small commission off of it at no additional charge to you and that coupon code is going to bring your price down a little bit i think around 750 or so so that's kind of a nice thing but let me know what you think of this down in the comments if you have any questions about it happy to kind of explore if certain things fit in there but don't have I guess a lot of foreign currencies I do have some but not a ton but imagine most of them are going to be pretty similar where you can see there's a little bit of extra room so if your currency is a little larger than US dollars you might have some space if it's significantly larger maybe not but I don't know that there's many that are significantly larger most of the currencies that I have from other countries are actually a little bit smaller than the dollar in terms of length and so one other thing I should mention that I didn't get to yet is this is actually RFID blocking. So I haven't had a chance to test that out if it's one side, both sides, but I definitely will. And the easiest way to test that is to just use one of the, if you're checking out and it has the option to tap the card, put the card that you want on one side, tap it. If it doesn't work, then it's blocking the RFID. If it does, then it, the RFID blocking doesn't work, but it is in there. It does feel like it. It's a little bit more rigid when it's unloaded obviously with it loaded you're not gonna be able to tell but definitely we'll test that out in the long-term review as well but again let me know what you think down in the comments below as always be sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification button and i hope you have a great one take care